Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Okay, it's going to be an interesting video about background radiation. Uh, I've just recently acquired one of these. Now this is, a, to all intents and purposes, a, uh, an environmental Geiger counter. And what it does is it, um, it's, uh, it tells you what the background radio uh, radioactivity um, is. It's got a little tube inside there and inside that tube is I think it's like a wire with 500 volts on it and it detects any um, is it isotopes or, or any any radioactive particles or whatever that go through it. Now I'm very very new at this I don't know entirely what I'm doing at, with it at the moment I'm still studying but I did come up yesterday with some interesting uh, facts uh, now, first of all, or say facts, I read them on the internet, so hopefully they're sort of facts. <laughs> um, but, okay, before Fukushima occurred, um, according to several different articles I read, the average background radiation readings uh, around Britain were 0.05 microsieverts per hour. Since Fukushima has taken place, those background radiation levels have virtually doubled right across the country. And uh, right now, um, we're still waiting for it to stabilise because you don't get an immediate reading. It sort of takes average readings over two minutes um, and then it will give you um, a much more stable reading. Now, at the moment, we're reading 0 0.07. Uh, now, from what I understand, it's, uh, radiation is, is quite chaotic and the, the readings will fluctuate all the time. So, uh, you know, what it's actually got here at the top here is, a, I don't think it's that little grey box right at the top. It's a little graph and uh, that graph will basically plot the last sort of two minutes worth of uh, readings and if you get any spikes they'll actually show up as red spikes um but anyway uh, i actually got this because i buy a lot of food from uh thailand and well i obviously I don't go to thailand to buy it but i buy a lot of um food that comes from thailand and from the the far east so what i wanted was something to test the food um, for radioactivity because of you know the, the whole Fukushima thing especially if I'm buying like fish products and stuff from there because obviously their seas are very very contaminated right now so um, I, I, anyway look, that's, what, that's the main reason I got this but I was also curious about the whole um, radiation background thing now there is a guy I watched yesterday on YouTube who was driving around on his motorbike and he had one of these and he was getting spikes of up to 0 0.7 microsieverts per hour um, and it was actually, I mean, at the moment it says normal radiation background, um, but actually that can change to amber and to red. Uh, and when it says red, it actually says dangerous, um, dangerous radiation background. And um, this guy, while he was filming this YouTube video, that was actually, he was in London and that was flashing red. And what he was trying to explain was there are these like clouds of radioactive particulate sort of gas um, that's coming over so you, you know you sort of they're, they're wafting over you all the time and you end up with these waves um, of peaks um, with these, these this whole uh, micro sieverts per hour thing anyway like I said I don't entirely know what I'm doing with this yet I'm just I'm still sort of learning the basics and um, but if anybody knows um, you know what these numbers um, mean and, and you know at what point do I start worrying <laughs> um, you know what what number does this in as far as um, micro sieverts per hour goes uh, what number does that have to be before you have to start thinking about your you know uh, your your welfare as it were uh, be very interesting because that's really hard to find that information on the web um, you know, people talk uh, about these numbers, but they don't really say what they mean um, in practical terms. So, um, but the the thing is, the whole uh, measuring radiation thing um, is massively complicated, and uh, you know, there's just it's 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 not as simple as just taking a reading and saying, oh, it's that amount. It doesn't quite work like that. It's massively complicated, and I'm only just touching the iceberg, the tip of the iceberg. Um, as to trying to start to get my head around this stuff and it is really complicated but yeah anyway so um but yeah essentially what i've what i've learned so far is since fukushima happened uh the background radiation in this country has doubled and um it is averaging around 0.1 um around the country which is uh, you know, which is double what it used to be which is 0.05 and that's just from one um nuclear accident on the other side of the world uh, has affected the background radiation right across the planet. It's very, very interesting stuff. And I doubt you'll ever 
hear this kind of stuff going on, uh, you know, on, on the mainstream media. And um, but at the moment, yeah, we, we're quite low. Now I was outside a little while ago. I, I tried another version of this video, um, but it wasn't very good. So this is my second attempt. But while I was filming, um, it actually went up to 0.29 microsieverts per hour. And uh, I'm assuming that uh, some sort of a bit of a cloud of uh, radi radiation sort of uh, wafted past as I was making it. But um, all interesting stuff. So, so yeah, if you've got any um, other practical uses that I can use this for, um, or any advice. Oh, I've got it on a five minute timer, so it's just switched off. Um, if you've got any other uh, ideas that I can use this for, um, or if you'd, if you'd like to know uh, anything, you know, if you're in England and you want to know uh, stuff, um, then, you know, uh, feel free to ask and I'll see if I can put this to some sort of uh, good use apart from checking the, the food stuffs that I'm buying. Um, so there we go, that's it. That was just a, a quirky little video, odd little video. Not um, really sure what I wanted to achieve with it, but uh, just thought it was slightly interesting. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.